Welcome to a new video from Edelship. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the new Vaporflow 275 Vaporface Reflow Oven. The Vaporflow 275 is a new Vaporface oven used for reflow soldering. Vaporface reflow soldering is perfect for soldering small batches of SMD components and it avoids the problems you will experience with convection and infrared ovens. So in this video, I'll be showing you how the Vaporface oven looks like, what features it has, how a Vaporface oven even works, and we're gonna try to solder a PCB with this machine. So let's start unboxing. So this is how the inside looks like of the box. First, you need to take out some styrofoam, the lid of the oven, and you're gonna need a big piece of uh, styrofoam to put on the table so you can put the oven on there to prevent scratches on your table, for instance. Here we also have a box, which we'll also carefully take out. The rack where we're gonna put the PCB on. Let's first remove some of the side styrofoam. And now we can take out the vapor phase oven so we can put it on a piece of foam. So we're first gonna move the box a bit. So we have some free space to put the oven on. And now let's try to lift the oven out of the box and place it onto the styrofoam so you won't damage your table. And now we can put the box away, but we're gonna need another piece of styrofoam. Actually, before I'm gonna get another piece of styrofoam, I should maybe remove the plastic packaging first. So let's do that first. Let's get a, the other piece of styrofoam, put it next to it, so we can put the machine on its side, because we also still need to put the legs on there. And just put it like this. Let's get rid of everything here. But now we need to put on the feet of the oven, which are probably in the white box that were in the package. So let's get that one. And this was the white box. And let's see how we can open it. And this is what is in it. We have a power cable. We have the feet that we need to attach. And we have a fluid level guard for the galden. So now let's put the feet onto the bottom of the oven. And we probably need a wrench to put them tightly, but we'll get that later. I guess since the feet are now attached, I can put it up. So now we can get rid of the styrofoam. And so this is how the oven looks like. The Vaporface Reflow Oven comes with several features, such as a touchscreen display, which will be used to control the device. And you can plug in an SD card into the side of the machine, so you can lock the temperatures during soldering. Furthermore, there is a lid sensor inside the oven that detects if the lid is properly closed with the use of a magnet on the lid, and there are safety features to prevent overheating of a PCB. Before we can start using the vapor flow, we need to make sure that the container is free from dust and clean on the inside to prevent contamination. Afterward, we can connect the vapor flow to the mains, but make sure it is turned off before connecting. We can now fill the container with PFPE fluid, but for that we're going to need this fluid level gauge. The only thing you have to do is to keep adding small amounts of PFPE fluid until the level in the container is between the two indicators of the gauge. You will have to buy the PFP fluid, or better known as Galden, separately by yourself. And that is it. Since we are fully done with preparing the vapor flow, we can start using it. Therefore, we prepared a PCB with some components on there ready to be soldered. As you can see, there are some big and small components so we can see how well the vapor flow performs. So, just place your prepared PCB inside the container on the rack. And make sure to close the lid properly so vapor will not escape with the magnet oriented close to the display. 
And finally, the oven can be turned on with the switch on the back of the machine. On the display, a home screen appears with various menus. Before you can start the soldering process, a profile needs to be chosen or created that matches the PFPE fluid you're using. The most commonly used PFPE liquid for soldering is Galden. We are using Galden LS230 liquid, which is also the default profile on the Vaporflow. So we choose the LS230 profile. Then just press start to start the soldering process. Afterward, a status screen appears on the display, which shows the set point temperature and actual temperature over time on the right. At the bottom, the first icon shows whether the vapor flow is either heating or cooling with the duty cycle next to it. Next to that, you can see if an SD card is detected by the system. Next to that again, you can read the temperature of the oven and of an auxiliary temperature if that is present. While the vapor phase oven is busy soldering our PCB, I can meanwhile explain why a vapor phase oven is used for soldering and how vapor phase soldering even works. Other methods of soldering batches of electronics is with convection or infrared ovens. They melt the soldering paste on a PCB by directly heating the air or by directly heating the electronics. However, there are some disadvantages to this. For instance, the setting of the temperature is much harder, since the temperature needs to be set much higher than the melting temperature of the soldering paste. However, this can cause overheating on the components, but you should also set the temperature not too low, because then the solder paste will not melt properly. Moreover, in order to heat the soldering paste, the radiant heat needs to pass through the component so it can be soldered. This causes enormous heating of the component. Vapor phase ovens, on the other hand, emerges the PCB in hot PFPE vapor. The hot vapor transfers the heat to the soldering tin, which melts as a result. Because hot vapor has a much better heat transfer, soldering can be done at a lower temperature. PFPE liquid is engineered in such a way that it has a predetermined and exact boiling point. The temperature of the vapor will never be higher than the boiling temperature of the PFPE liquid. As a result, components will never overheat. Therefore, vapor phase ovens are a good alternative. So, a vapor phase reflow oven works as follows. Pour your PFPE fluid into the container. You place the PCB on a rack above the fluid and close the oven with a lid so the vapor cannot escape. Afterward, you heat the fluid until it reaches its boiling temperature. The PCB is then enclosed in vapor at boiling point temperature and the heat transfers to the PCB and the soldering joints. Subsequently, the heating stops, the vapor will condense and then the oven will start cooling the container, such that all vapor has condensed and it is safe to open the container. But now, let's see how the PCB looks like since the soldering process has finished. So this is how the PCB looks like after soldering. As you can see, the components are properly aligned on the pads, the plastic is not molten, there are no random tin spots on the board, and lastly, no tombstoning happened with any of the components. To summarize, the Vaporflow 275 is a vapor phase reflow oven that is perfect for soldering small batches of SMD components. I have shown you how the vapor phase oven looks like, what features it has, how a vapor phase oven works, and we have soldered a small PCB with the oven. If you want to know more about the Vaporflow 275, you can find the product on our website and there is a link to the product page in the description. But now I want to thank you for watching and I hope to see you at the next video.